हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट न्यू क्लासिकल एंड न्यू केंजियन मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट न्यू केंजियन मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स न्यू केंजियन इकोनॉमिक्स इज द स्कूल ऑफ थॉट दैट वॉज इवोल्ड फ्रॉम द आइडिया ऑफ जोन मिनार्ड केंज एंड जोन मिनार्ड केंज रोट बुक बुक नेम्ड इज जनरल थियोरी ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इंटरेस्ट एंड मनी नाइनटीन थर्टी बट हिज इन्फ्लुएंस अमंग अकेडमिक्स एंड पॉलिसी मेकर इंक्रीज थ्रू नाइनटीन सिक्सटी द नेम न्यू केंजियन थियोरी वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस बाय माइकल पार्किंग इन नाइनटीन एटी टू वन ऑफ द अर्लीएसट यूज ऑफ टर्म न्यू केंजियन इकनॉमिक्स वॉज इन एन आर्टिकल बाय बोल मैनकिव एंड रोमर इन नाइनटीन एटी एट फर्स्ट थिंग दैट इज एक्सप्लेन stickiness of wages and prices sticky wages do not change quickly in response to change in economic condition like inflation or labor demand similar sticky prices do not immediate change with change in economic condition in this diagram you can see ls is labor supply curve ld is labor demand curve initially wage rate is o w and initially equilibrium point is e as labor demand increase from ld to ld1 wage rate should increase now but here you can see wage rate are constant these wages will be called sticky wages second thing new and old keynesian models are known market cleaning model that means prices and wages do not automatically adjust to where demand is equal to supply that's why it is not necessary demand will always equal to supply sometime demand can more than supply sometime supply can more than demand there is no equilibrium prices and wages that's why wage setting occurs in labor market and price setting occurs in product market means in labor market labor do bargaining for equilibrium price similar in product market consumer do bargaining for price next is price rigidity and menu cost according to new keynesian sometime businesses are not able to change prices because of menu cost menu cost businesses faces when they decided to change price for example cost of printing new menu obviously now you have decided to change prices of your product you have to print a new menu because old menu have old prices second is cost of retagging items now you have decided to change prices of your product you have to remove your old tags because old tags consist old prices similar you have to bear cost of hiring consultant for developing new price strategy these are called menu cost which business bear when they decided to change prices of their product and because of menu cost sometime businesses are not able to change prices of their product in this diagram you can see e is initial equilibrium point dd is initial demand curve op is initial price and mc is a menu cost you can see demand reduce from dd to dd1 but prices are same businesses are not able to reduce prices because of menu cost next is according to new keynesian fluctuation arises or we can say the business cycles produce because prices and wages are slow to adjust suppose prices and wages are quickly adjust to where demand is equal to supply that means economy always is in equilibrium there is no scope for recession depression boom etc but this is not possible prices and wages are slow to adjust to where demand is equal to supply that's why so many fluctuation create in economy and business cycles produce next is new keynesian believe in imperfect competition in market next is according to new keynesian involuntary unemployment is possible because sometime when demand fall investment production employment wages also fall as a result involuntary unemployment exists in economy examples of some new keynesian models are efficiency wage employment model price rigidity and market structure model model of real rigidity 
now we are going to talk about new classical macroeconomics new classical school emerged in 1970 and uh, leading economists are robert lucas thomas sargent edward prescott and one of most famous new classical model is real business cycle model now we are going to talk about features of new classical economics first feature is rational expectation rational expectation consider people are very rational they can immediately predict the result of any government policy that's why in case of rational expectation government policy does not work or we can say that in case of rational expectation government policy become ineffective for example through any policy government deliberately increase inflation in economy so that unemployment can fall but how inflation can fall unemployment obviously because of inflation prices increase as a result profit of producer increase when profit increase production increase when production increase producer will hire more employees as a result unemployment will fall in economy so we can say that inflation can fall unemployment rate but in case of rational expectation government policy does not work because people immediately predict the result of inflation because of inflation their purchasing power will fall their real income will fall that's why they immediately demand for higher wage rate when employees immediately demand for higher wage rate profit of producer is not able to increase as a result production will not increase then they will not hire more employees and unemployment rate will not fall in economy so we can say that in case of rational expectation government policy does not work because people immediately predict the result of any government policy in this diagram you can see government deliberately increase inflation from 5 to 7% so that unemployment rate can increase, reduce in economy but unemployment rate is the same 4% even inflation has increased from 5 to 7% next is market continuously clear according to new classical economics prices are automatically and quickly adjust to where demand is equal to supply next is full employment if prices of goods are quickly adjust to where demand for goods and supply of goods is equal to each other similar wages are quickly adjust to where labor demand and labor supply is equal to each other and interest rate quickly adjust to where money demand and money supply is equal to each other then obviously economy will be in full employment according to new classical economics next is wages and prices are flexible according to new keynesian wages and prices are sticky wages and prices are rigid but according to new classical wages and prices are flexible next is involuntary unemployment is opportunity for businesses according to new keynesian involuntary unemployment exists in economy but according to new classical full employment exists in economy and involuntary unemployment is good opportunity for businesses because they have to pay less and earn more profit and people have to accept it instead of being unemployed so this is all about new classical and new keynesian macroeconomics i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care